110 degrees today, but uh, looks like we're getting a little break from the storm here, and the temperature is plummeted down to about 99 degrees, the weather we have. That's really nice for here, so I better get off this roof before I get hit by some lightning, don't you think? Yeah. Check it out, Dr. Z. This is 20 minutes after I made that video. I got off that roof just in time. Raining pretty good. And the skies are black. Hello, my viewers. I've been getting a lot of email regarding run capacitors and I'd like to answer some of the questions that I've been getting. One question is in regards to this dot right here as to what it's for. Well it's really not for anything in particular. This dot right here is actually where the manufacturer had soldered the hole where in the factory they fill the run capacitor with a polyglycol dielectric fluid that's very commonly used nowadays now that PCBs are, have been outlawed. To the end user this spot of solder has no real function. For the most part you might as well just pretend it doesn't even exist. Unless of course it starts to leak, that is. And now a message from Mikey2501 in regards to how to discharge run capacitors to make them safe to work on. Hey gang, somehow Dr. Darklob has convinced me to do this video clip so he can sit at the house and drink martinis. Uh, we're going to short out of capacitors today, or discharge capacitors if you will. And... Uh, <laughs> He's probably watching Hula Hoop Girls, too, on YouTube while I do his dirty work. Anyway, here we go. We have two capacitors today. We have a fan capacitor, which is just a single run, and we have the original, which was replaced uh, on the fan side when they changed out the condenser fan motor, and they were still using this side. I'm having to replace this cap today. It's a 35 for the compressor side. It's only reading 9 microfarad. A simple way to do this on a medium to low voltage systems is, uh, this is a 220 system, 240 system. Take a screwdriver, insulated handle, very important, and short the common terminal, which is the center one here, to each of the two separate ones. Just real simple to, uh, to discharge it that way. Same thing down here. This one's already discharged because some hack had left the capacitor floating loose, and you can see the kind of burn terminal there where it's shorted the casing, but there we go. Very simple, very, very easy, and uh, the doc can enjoy his martinis. And now we have his bit for him. Before Saturday, no less. Another question I've had is, why do we even need run capacitors? What exactly do they do? What exactly happens in a single phase 230 or 460 volt motor is, first of all, you have a sine wave of the power here that's one and here's the other and this is this gives you your 230 or 460 volts now the room capacitor what that does is it sort of fudges a little bit to tell the motor that it has three phases so it creates another sine wave and in essence gives you three phases. Here, here's some single run capacitors. They come in all sorts of different sizes and shapes too actually. They also come in round. This one is a um, 35 microfarad at 440 volt and that's generally for like a compressor. And 
and I even have one here, a, a 5 microfarad at, to 370 volts. It all depends on what the rating is on the motor or compressor. I have in my hands right now two run capacitors. They're both single run capacitors. As you can see, they're, they only have two terminals on each one of them. And they're rated at 7.5. One is larger and one is smaller. Here's the difference. The difference is the larger one is rated at 440 volts and the other at 370. Now, why would they, a manufacturer, make a run capacitor that is like this? Why would they bother to make a, a run capacitor rated for 370 and one for 440? Well, there's a reason. Each motor is rated differently. It all depends on if the motor or compressor that you are installing is rated for 370 volts or 440 volts. So you see this one is 7.5 at 440, this one is 7.5 at 370 volts. Let's say for example the motor that you're installing requires a 7.5 370 volt run capacitor but you don't have one let's say you don't have one and you only have a 440 volt run capacitor can you use it the answer is yes the thing is is you can never go down in voltage but you can go up amrad's amazing turbo 200